All right, battery low on my chest GoPro, but we're out here this morning, hitting up a really, really skinny creek. Skinny creek, bank to bank, um, working a few bits of structure and some sand flats. I brought my glide bait along just to chase some big flatties if there's some around. And if not, that's why I've got a second setup to chase some black brim, dark yellow fins as I like to call them. I've never been to this spot before, so if I start walking up and the water gets pretty deep, I'm obviously not gonna be able to chuck around the glide bait and we'll focus a lot more on catching the brim. So I just like to keep these intros pretty short at the moment. Um, just get real keen. Hey, I get out here nice and early. Once again, say nice and early, it's around 9.30, but had so many issues getting to this spot, but we're out here now, we're gonna fish it and hopefully crack a few good ones. Hoping to crack some PB brims today. That's the goal. Come along for the adventure. Hope you all enjoy. That's a good look at it there. Ooh, big brim. I just seen a big brim. Now I've got a double clutch tied on. I'm gonna put on a different lure because I've used that <laughs> so many times. People are probably getting sick of using it. Um, it's a great lure, works heaps well, but we'll try and mix it up today. Bring along some plastics. One in particular, probably my all-time favourite for brim. Hurricane Brat 75. I would go with a no, I will go with a green one. I'm gonna go with one of the pink spots. This colour is called Cleaver. Gotta toss around. Also put some jig heads in here because I didn't want to take a heavy load today. Starting to get a bit of a breeze come up. Nor'easter it feels. Bit of a north. I'm gonna rig this thing on a 120th. Hidden weight. That right there. Black brim candy. There should be a nice mixture of um, southern black brim and yellows in here. Just want to see because that was like a 35 odd centimetre brim. Black swans. Very good indication you're in brim territory. <laughs> Very good indication. Oh, I wish I got that on the camera. Instantly, straight up. Oh, sheesh. Got a brim, straight up. First cast on the Hurricane Sprat. Oh, you love to see that. I knew when I seen one before that there had to be more. This tiny little creek. This is my favorite style of fishing right here. Pretty much bank to bank casting. And yeah, he's a nice one. We'll take that to start the morning. Here we go. First one of the morning. Five minutes in. Gives you confidence, doesn't it? Chuck it straight back out. See if we can back to back it. I think that was first twitch as well. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Yep. And again. Oh, that is a proper one. You're kidding me. Is that a PB? Bro. It's not a PB, but it's going to be like 38, 39. Wow. This tiny little area. As soon as I seen those swans, it was like the best indication. I don't know why. Black swans. Always a good sign that there's brim in the area. Oh, yeah. Watch me tie my PB. This will be the seventh fish if it goes 40. My seventh 40 centimetre brim. That has to be another 40. 
We're close to it at least. Yep. Pretty good guess from me. 39, 39 and a half. What a way to the start of the day. Two in two casts. <sighs> Gotta be happy with that. All right, let's get back out there. Now, don't you go and scare any of your other mates, bro. This water is gonna get me splashed. Yep. Perpendicular brims. Okay. Man, give me a sec, give me a sec. Okay, flipping back, he's, he's off. I've picked this outfit for in this creek today, just because it's only skinny stuff. It's the Miller Rods Brawler, uh, two to five kilo, six foot seven, 2,500 certate, six pound braid with an eight pound leader. It's nice to have a bit of a shorter rod for skinny creeks, but yeah, this is, this is why I brought it for these scenarios right here. Skinny water, tight structure. drop. There we go. Another brim. <sighs> so many head shakes. A good one. Down the patch. There we go. Another brim on the brawler combo. Love to see it. Great pin in the top of the jaw. I don't know what it is with these sprats, but it has to be the green colour that's the absolute gun for me. I don't know what it is. I've tried the other colours. I've caught on all the other colours. But there's something about the green ones, the light green and this colour cleaver. Just seems to get the job done so much better. I mean, especially in this dirt water. It's probably the best colour for this clarity. On the drop again. I'd say that's the same fish. Very aggressive. It's gonna be another brim. I haven't even moved, like I've gone like 10, 20 meters. Oh yeah, another goodie. Come in here, mate. I don't even know what to do. I've never had a session like this. Like it usually takes me all day to like catch three to four fish. And I've just caught them all in the first 20, 25 minutes of fishing. Mind blown. All I'm doing with this thing as well is just giving such light taps, twitches. Just ever so slightly bouncing my rod tip. Just makes that lure look like a dying bait fish. I want to hop that in the water, it might look a bit funny, but it imitates a dying bait fish so perfectly. On that 120 of jig head, makes it look really natural. Yep. Right off the log. Little guy. The tip of this fallen timber. Just rounding them up. I might have to tie on a lure that's going to challenge myself. Like as fun as this is going to be, I don't know how you'd even put this into a video. Okay, well I'll stop the video <laughs> before throwing it in. He went back though. I don't know how that even happens, but 
That hook is cooked. Look at this. Let me get the plastic off. That was a small fish. And look what their jaws are capable of doing. That's pretty ridiculous. Very, very tough mouths. Cut that off and put on a new one. I think I've only got two left, so. But yeah, got a big pro lure, 150 fish on there, flashy spinner, create a bit more vibration in the water, get the fish's attention, should catch. If not, no wackers, because the brim were all over it. The other lure, I meant. How's the weed on it? Weed fish. I'm gonna put this away for a little bit. Obviously pull it out as we work along, but brim just seemed to be fired. Oh, that's not what I wanted. More scent going on. Now to get over there, I've kind of got a bush bash, like a proper bush bash though. Thick, thick stuff. Gee whiz. Oh my. Oh, not bad, besides that bloody bush there. I didn't plan on getting wet today, but that is way too thick to push through. So swampy, eh? Just yell out before you leave, I've got a lure for you. A lure for me? Yeah. How are you going to get it over to me? Oh, I'll come walk across up there. Just yell out. Right. I'll give you a soft line. Oh, the lure box ones. You rate them? Best big bloody lure there is, I reckon. Wow. Well, I definitely opened my mouth too early. Since those fish at the start, I've made my way all along here. Not a single touch. Not one. Oh, that mud is so sinky. I don't know why they're all at the front here and not a single one along this bit, but we'll keep at it. It gets skinnier and skinnier as I move down. Other blokes fishing the other side, so I don't want to interrupt where they're flicking at the moment. That was on. Good little thump on the bottom. Oh, he's on it again. I just cooked it. <laughs> First bit of action in so long. Yep. There we go. Couple twitches. little it's good to see you again hey I'm a bit quiet there for a second it's good to see brim of this size and this thickness I don't know if I can show you how thick they are without getting spiked but 
very thick in the belly for a small fish, which means they're finding a good, fi uh, good food source, which is a very good sign for this place. Healthy fish, healthy system, or vice versa. I would get a hold up of you, mate, but I won't bother. Seems to be a um, couple there. I don't know if this was the guy that hit it the first time. Oh, log in the water there. Something off it, maybe. Yeah, my lure gets stuck in it, of course. It's a proper East Gippsland looking area here. That real skinny, marshy kind of zones. Oh, that was on then. Second time's the charm. Oh. Third. No, it's asking for too much. Yep. There we go. Oh, that's a better one. Much better. Oh yeah. Oh, bunch of mullet getting spooked. Must be brim feeding on them. Hello mate. Oh, that is a heavy fish. Oh, that has to be like 750, 800 grams. It's not light. He's not happy either. 34 and a half. There he is. 34er. Going back. little green machines on fire. It's also about confidence, like if you're chucking a lure, there's a big one. Oh. If you're chucking a lure you got zero confidence in, you're probably not going to catch fish because it's going to ruin your action. Oh, I dropped it. Another broom. See any silver shining on the surface. Oh, all that bite, well, all that bait just went nuts. I've got a really bad stuttering problem lately. Like almost every word that comes out of my mouth is said wrong. But I want, they're all about the same size when they're this size. I've noticed like that high 20s, low 30s. Wouldn't even call that low 30s to be honest. Bro, <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's gotta be so small. It's like those high 21s. There we go. A lot of silver. Brim central. Hey matey. Yeah, once again, same size but far out. Look at the belly. Are you kidding? That is an absolute pig. Are you serious? The thickness on that. Feeding up very, very well.
I often get the question when I use scent what I'm what I'm actually using. It says Procure Bloodworm, but what I've done is I've actually brought almost every scent that I can find uh, on the market, except a couple, and just put it all into one tube. So I'm getting the best of all worlds. Seems to work pretty well for me. And um, I don't know if there's too many people doing that. It's a bit unique. Not that it probably would do much different compared to having just one tube, but of just one kind. You gotta be weird, don't you, Josh? I wonder how those other fellas are going. Seem to be moving downstream pretty quick. It's kind of the opposite of me. I stay in an area for too long. Here we go. Big on. Small on. Micro on. Just got intel that there's a deep hole up here. And they got their first fish. So good sign. Wow, there is a lot of snags. I already worked here, but gotta give it a toss. Wind assisted. Is that the first brim you got? Mm, really fat, are they? they are. All the ones that I've got are absolute piggies. Yep. <laughs> Glenno. You. <laughs> Oh, mate, calm down. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think so. Oh, Brim, chill out, man. There he is. Double turn. I'll probably scurry along the edge. There we go. You're kidding. Yes. <laughs> Boy, he's another really good one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. Yeah. Pushing high thirties. I didn't land it yet. Yeah. On a short string, pitch casting to brim. Tea bagged right off the bank. It's really beautiful being out here. And I'm on. You are kidding me. Yep. Yep. 